What's up guys? Joshua Trademark Exotics here. Today I have a instructional video showing how to remove a hard belly in your ball python. If you ever come across it, what that is is after they hatch, they don't absorb their yolk correctly and it ends up solidifying and they can't pass it on their own and it could kill the snake. So you have to end up manually getting that out of there for the snake so it can survive. So I already started removing most of it or some of it in the back end here. You wanna start at the back end and then work your way up so you're not pushing from the front to the back, trying to get it all at once. So now that I've got the back few inches out, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. I just squeeze it softly on the sides, maybe trying to break it up just a little bit if you can. If it doesn't wanna break up, you just wanna roll, just apply pressure, constant pressure as you come back towards the cloaca and you'll see it start to move in there. You don't want to rush it out because you don't want to cause a prolapse in the animal, which is when um, like part of the insides start to come out and it's pretty irreversible. But as you can see, I'm starting at the end here, slowly applying pressure. It's pretty gross, guys. So if you're queasy, I wouldn't wash this. A little late for the warning, but slowly. So what that is, is unabsorbed yolk. Slowly pinching sides, lower sides, basically the belly. This one's having a little trouble coming out. I'm going to try to break it up a little bit if I can. Start to apply pressure. Still having trouble. Slowly apply pressure. It's a little, um, scaring me a little bit as far as how it's not coming out of there so I'm gonna back it off here push it back up just a little bit and again start to pinch the sides breaking it apart if possible that way when it comes to when it tries to come out of there it's not one giant piece all right, again, start to apply pressure. Pinch on both sides. There's a really big piece coming out of here.
Pretty gross stuff, guys. This is actually a pretty bad one. So we got one more piece in there. Trying to break it up again. This one here is a uh, sterling pied. This is just from the the um, the yolk, the hard belly, just some fluid that came out. All right, guys. So here we go. Want to pinch on the sides? Push on the belly. This one seems like a pretty big piece here. very slowly you do not want to rush this at all if you rush it you can cause the animal to have serious problems with prolapse issues That would never pass on its own. That animal would die. Now, clean it up a little bit. Spray a little chlorhexidine. Concentrate, obviously, mix with water. Here's just regular water, just to get the excess chlorhexidine off there. A little bit. Coming out here, I hope that goes back in. I'm gonna to try to press that back in. Hopefully this animal eats its first offered meal. If not, I'll have to assist feed it. A couple meals maybe, get it going, but hopefully not. Hopefully it picks up on its own. Seems like it's got, a, you know, a lot of energy still, so it should be just fine. I don't remember if I mentioned in the beginning, this is a sterling pied from the Urban Camo Project. So there's also a possibility there's sandblast in here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If I helped you guys out in any way, let me know how in the comments. 
If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that like button, guys. See you later.